Try waiting. What? Try waiting and see if the camera goes back. Yes. No, but that, that worked before as well. That one works. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, so so maybe now I will uh, I will explain the, the abstract framework. Uh, so but may, so um, remember that we have this situation uh, where we have t tilde and t. Um, so again, t was t was HCF, and t tilde was this. Um, well, basically this CF, but but where I restrict my attention just to the equation, uh, and so yeah. But, but now now it's completely general. But I want to explain the relation between um, between T tilde and, and T, the abstract relation. So maybe maybe I'll just put the analogy that that was already mentioned. So if you want to think in an, by analogy with uh, you no know, Tanakian categories. Uh, so this would correspond to the uh, Nakian category. And, and this T would correspond to, to just the, the particular Tanakian category of, of vector spaces. Um, which is which is special because because you always have this uh, embedding of it in any Tanakian in any other Tanakian category. So um, different. So so for example, you can start with a linear differential equation, and you can either get a Tanakian category from it or one of these. Excuse me, you're right. Larger. Oh right, yes. Sorry, so this would be analogous to VEC CK. Um, and now, instead of working with VEC, VEC CK, um, I could also look at VEC K. So just vector spaces over a bigger field. And this corresponds to, to adding constants to the to the theory. So instead of of looking at, at just t, so t, remember in our case, t is going to be ACF with uh, with constant symbols for the elements of CK of the of the field of constants. But I could also just add um, add symbols for for more elements. Okay, and now uh, we also have um, we also have functors, so tensor functors or, or, or just functors between categories. And so, what is the what is the um, analogous notion? So, so the analogous notion is, is called an interpretation. So, um, an interpretation. theory T1 in another theory T2 um, is an assignment of uh, well of uh, formula I of phi in T2 to any formula phi in T1. Uh, such that, well, what can I do? Um, I can so if I have if I have a if I have a model of T two, 
So what is a model of T2? It, it means that I assign some set. Uh, so so if, I, if I have some formula in the language of T2 I can, uh, and I have a model, I can ask what is the set of points uh, of, N, of, of that formula in N, and then I can, and then I can construct from it uh, a model of T1 but using, or, or a structure for T1. Uh, so uh, such that, and what I want is that this structure is a model of T1, okay, such that for any model uh, M of T2, uh, the assignment uh, that sends phi to I phi of M is a model of T1. Yeah, so uh, in interval, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, I mean, yeah. Uh, I, interpretation, and what is the other thing called? Uh, well, I don't know what the other thing is called, but what you defined. Uh, I want this to be so. So I, either this is, yeah. So, so this is the same as the classical notion. If you if you assume that T two has a uh, yeah. Oh. And that's the notion you want. Yes. Okay. What do you mean by the assignment is a model? Okay. So I need to. Uh, you know, let, let me say informally. So uh, what it is is simply a model of T one, but instead of usual model in sets, uh, I want the model to be in in T two. Um, so, in other words, so 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 T one has has some language. T one has some language, and, I, and to give you a structure for for it, I need to for for everything in the language, I need to give you a corresponding operation. Okay. So I yeah. if um, R is relation symbol. Uh, in the language of T1, so I, I, I'm going to define a. Uh, so I have a, I have a model for T2, and, and I'm going to define a, a new structure uh, for T1. So this the new structure, I'm going to call it uh, I upper star of it. So if I if I have uh, if I have this relation, I want to know um, if a tuple uh, I want to know if a tuple satisfies a R, and the answer is that it's going to satisfy R precisely if it satisfies. Well, well, I thought R is, a, R is a formula in T1. And you're talking about M, which is a model right, so, of T2. Right, so, so the point is I want to think about M as a model. I, 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 I'm saying that M determines a model of, T1. Uh, of, of uh, T1. T1. Oh, okay. So it, with, with, with the same underlying set, ah, in, same in underlying some set. sense, or, or maybe some Wait, power. Do you want the same underlying set, or do you want I of x equals x to be something? Yeah, so uh, I of x... Uh, yeah, I mean, so it's it's. I mean, it's the same underlying underlying set in the sense of uh, no, it's it's a tuple. So uh, an element in the in the model of T one might be a tuple in, in the model of T two. Uh, so, so, so for example, if you take phi to be x equals x, and look at the formula in the language of T one, i of x equals x. That's a formula with one free variable. It defines some subset of the model of T two. This is going to be the universe of the model of T one. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so I guess I should have said that. But except I, I, I want to work with a multi sorted thing. So I, so it means that to, for any sort, I, I find a, I find some definable setting in 
uh, in T2, and then uh, and then this is this is so, so the, the new structure is going to be um, the the points of that set. So the the the, uh, the Q part for some Q is going to be the, the points of that uh, set in, in, in M. If it satis if and only if it satisfies as a model of uh, as a Okay, so maybe an example. Suppose so. T one could be the theory of the theory of groups. Okay, so suppose T one is the theory of groups. So what is an interpretation? I need to I need to give you an interpretation. is just a definable group in T two. Okay, so a right, why did, so I of I of G is the universe of the group, and then I and then I also need to give you an operation, um, and. Uh, and that and I of that operation is is, the, is some definable map in T two, uh, and uh, and the fact that that it's a group is, is is exactly this condition that I want I want this this new structure that lives in, in T two to satisfy the theory of T one. So this is the definition of a, of a structure, and I want this structure to satisfy the axioms of of uh, T one. So an example. Uh, you can take T1 to be the theory of groups. And let's say T2 is ACF. Okay? And then I could say um, take then so or, or anything, but but for example, uh, I can take I so here the theory of groups it means I have a, one sort which I can call G. And I of G is something like G of three, okay? And so this is, as I said, it's the set of uh, three by three, three invertible matrices. And so I also need to tell you what is I of the product. So here you have here you have the product operation, and this is just ma matrix multiplication. And the fact that the fact that it's an interpretation, so this this pullback. Uh, satisfies uh, the of T1 is exactly the fact that, that, it is a, that, that this operation in ACF defines a group. Okay? Um. So, so, so an interpretation in, 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 in this example, it would always be picking out just the one group, or, or, or would an interpretation be something more like the theory of algebraic groups over... No, so each interpretation, so an interpretation is precisely an, uh, a definable group. Oh, okay, just just the one. Yeah. So okay. in fact, uh, this is also true if T two is any. So okay. an interpretation of the theory of groups in any theory, it's, it's a group it's, object. It's just it's just exactly it's a it's a group definable in that theory. Uh, okay. So now. Yeah, I guess I should. Okay, now. Uh, So, so if I if I look at all the so, so this is in other words this is this is precisely you can think of it as a as a functor uh, from definable sets in T one to definable sets in T two but not not it's a particular kind of functor but, but it's just a functor and so in, in particular if you have two interpretations uh, then uh, there are morphisms be between them which is just what it means is just you have uh, definable maps okay so. Um, Interpretations uh, from T one to T two uh, form a category. Which is, uh, you know, 
subcategory of, of the category of all functors. And in particular, mm. like, in, like in the category of functors, uh, uh, you have the notion of, uh, of an equivalence. So, uh, uh, the, and this is called the by interpretation. So, uh, okay. So, uh, but in the category, are T1 and T2 allowed to vary, or are T1 no, and T2 fixed? No, fixed and T1 and T2. Okay. And, um, and, then the, the and then the category of, of all interpretation just consists of objects are interpretations and, and, and definable maps between okay. them. Mm -hmm. Um, and so in particular, you, uh, you have the notion of a by interpretation, which is precisely, if you think about it as a, uh, as a functor, it just means that it's an equivalence of categories. Uh, so, uh, so i from t1 to t2 is a by interpretation. Uh, if there is An interpretation in the other direction, uh, W from T2 to 1, uh, such that uh, I compose with W and W composed with I are isomorphic to the identity. somehow packages inside it the idea that T1 recognizes that omega composed <coughs> on I produces something isomorphic to the original model. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it means that you have the findable maps in T1 that... that uh, uh, no, not, on, not only is that you have a definable interpretation of T1 in T1, but also that T1 knows that this returns the same model. That there's a definable isomorphism. Right, exactly. Okay. So, so it means, I mean, in more details, it means that okay. for any, so for any definable set x of t1, uh, we are given a, an, isomorph, an isomorphism, a definable, a definable isomorphism um, from x to uh, what is W of I of X, and they are compatible with mm -hmm. um, So this means that, that for most practical uh, purposes, T1 and T2 are the same theory. And now I'm going to need something s slightly weaker. So, so I, I want to say that, that the situation with T and T tilde is almost this. Except you need the, you might need parameters. Uh, so no. Um, so let's go back to, to our TTL. So if if uh, M is uh, so so this is now again the example of that, that we obtained from the differential equation. So if M is a Picard-Vessiot structure. So, which means, uh, remember, it, it means that, that you have a field and you have this uh, a Q, which is a, which is a vector space over the field, and, and Picard C O means that just means that, that the vector space has the, has dimension n, maximal it, that it can be. And then on top of that, we have some extra structure. So, suppose we have something like this. Uh, then we, what we can do is we can add uh, m to the to the language. We can add uh, symbols to the to the language for elements of m, and we can add, add the relations between the elements of m to the theory. And after we have done that, uh, the, the the two theories become uh, by interpretable. Okay, so uh, so then. Um, Yeah, so I guess I should, I want to say before that, in, in this case, in the, in the case of T, T and T tilde, we have, we have an interpretation in one direction, so I 
uh, it goes from ACF CK to, which is T, to T tilt, okay? And it just sends the A1 to uh, C, right? This is an interpretation. Yeah, right. Okay, we just have the inside this uh, detail. We just have the, this part, which is just the algebraically closed fields, which is the dependent. Uh, C being C sub a, or, or what? What? Yeah, C, yes. C, 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 C sub a. The C is you C mean C sub, sub a. a? C is C is, is this is one of these sorts. So, so oh. T consists of. Oh, like the there is Q and C, and so I, I, to give you an interpretation, I need to tell you what, what the universe is, and the universe is going to be C. And yeah. Is you're saying that that's a that's a functor that regards a, a a field as a constant differential field? Or yeah. So uh, well, in, I mean, I mean, it's the, it goes the other way around. So if I give you a structure for that, then it, then you get a field because you just look at the part which is a field. But but yeah but but it's I mean constant. eventually you want to you want to think yeah. about this as the constant. Okay okay. Okay, but we have this, but but we have a bit more because if we if we add m, okay, um, then uh, okay we add m. So in particular we add some stuff uh, to to the c part of m, and. Which means that which we can regard as as a structure for ACF, and so I T I upper star M to uh, T tilde with M uh, becomes an interpretation a by interpretation. So, in simpler words, what this all means is that when, once I add a, ve a basis uh, to, to Q, uh, then, then I can already, uh, using that basis, define a uh, bijection to C to the N. Right? Once you have, once you have a basis, uh, then, then the Q just becomes isomorphic over, over that basis to, to, uh, to the standard and dimensional vector space. So what is W? What is w? Is yeah, so what, what is W? So W of Q is, um, what, uh, just AN, okay? Just the standard n-dimensional vector space, okay? And what is important is, okay, um, so that, there are two interesting bits of information. Um, so th this is W of Q. But then I said there are also some relations, right? So we have to, so if, uh, if X in some Q to the N cross C to the N is, is a relation, In detail. So we have to. We, I have to tell you what is W of X is, and what should it be? It should be so. It, it should sit. So, so they, these uh, interpretations they must preserve uh, inclusion. So yeah, I guess I sh should also say that W of C is just a one. Uh, So uh, W of X should be inside W of Q of Q to the N, which is W of Q to the N, uh, cross W of C to the N, which is 
A. Oh, this is not the same. Uh, R. So this is R times N. Plus N. Okay, and so what, what is it going to be? So remember, how, how did we obtain these relations X? The relations X are, are restrictions of uh, definable sets in DCF to, uh, to this, right? Now, first of all, uh, any definable set in DCF is, is quantifier free definable. And also, when, when, when we restrict it to here, it's, it's actually defined by algebraic equations. So x is, is the restriction of, um, of an algebraic, algebraically definable uh, set. OK, now, uh, so, so, so my mission is, is, to, is to give you uh, some interpretation, but, but uh, you see, I have, I have to have that the composition is, is the identity. So it's, it's natural to, uh, what I want to give you is the, is the, is the algebraic set whose restriction x is. And that's what I'm going to do, except th th there might be more than one. So you could have two uh, different uh, constructible sets that restrict, restrict to the same set. For example, it could, have, it could be that the intersection is just empty. But uh, if your set is, there, is there risky closed, then there is a minimal one. Uh, so if, if you look at, if you look at uh, the risky closed subsets, in here, and you, you restrict, and you, you look at the collection of all um, Sarisky closed subsets that restrict to the same subset here, then there is a minimal one, just by notoriality. Uh, so the, and that's the one I'm picking, okay? So this is, uh, so when, so if this is, is closed, uh, okay. Uh, so this is is the well the risky closure of x uh, in well in ACF. Okay, but this is when x itself. Is a risky close. So well, when it's a, I don't know, Polchin close. So if. Which one? So x, what is x? x, you can think of it as the intersection of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an ACF constructible set with this differential equation. Okay, so it's some. So now, so, so now if x was the, was the risky close, then this is going to, so, sorry, if, if the thing you're intersecting with was a risky clause, this is going to be Colchin closed. Okay? So, in this case, I'm looking uh, at the Zariski closure and I'm assigning uh, the Zariski closure to X. And then this determines uniquely uh, W if it exists, and then there is a, some, some lemma that, that it's actually is an interpretation. And this is important for you because you're going to be breaking over fields that are not necessarily algebraic. You're really looking at an interpretation of the field in the theory of fields. Right, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so actually, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm, it's important that, uh, as Alice says, that, that I'm working on the quantifier free level all the time. So. Um, Okay, but look, uh, okay, so this is, yeah, and this K, by the way, yeah. um, okay, uh, okay, so I, I found something, I found, I found an interpretation, uh -huh. um, I found an interpretation, but with, with extra constants. When you 
say constants, you actually mean in the language sense. Yes, so you see here, to, to make this interpretation, I have I had to work with ACFK. Uh, yeah, so, so this is a, the dilemma is just that uh, this defines an interpretation. Um, of detail in ACF, well, actually, in just the theory of fields uh, over K. Uh, and I can say ACF. Yes, yeah. um, And yeah, and then as a result, well, what I can do is I is I can take so so now k, k is a structure for ACFK, and I can pull it back like here, and this is this is going to be what am I going to to have? I'm going to have a, a vector space of dimension n over k, and I'm going to have all the structures that I need. So this is this is going to be uh, okay. So note. The pullback of, of K is a picard structure. Because it has all the structure that I'm asked, it, it is a it is a detailed structure, right? Because I got it from an interpretation, and just by definition, it, it has dimension n. Um, that the q part has dimension n. Um, yeah, and now, uh, so in particular, I from T k to um, t till Mugato star of k is the by interpretation. Let me just get this straight. Uh, t sub k means the theory of t, but adding the constants k. Right. Right? Okay. So once again, what, what is the so so I gave you an interpretation, but now if I if I start if if I start here go with i and then go back, I, I just get the identity. I, I I get the identity back because I I take ACF, I interpret it as a one, and then I uh, as sorry I, I interpret a one as c, and then I interpret c as a one again. All the structure is the same. Um, what is slightly hidden here is that if you look in DCF and you ask what is the what is the induced structure on the constants, then the answer is is it's exactly uh, the algebraic the, the algebraic structure, uh, the field structure uh, with parameters from from the constants. Um, so that's that, and then um, what, what about the other direction? So uh, if I take something here, for example, Q, I I look at I of W of Q. So W of Q is a to the uh, is a to the n, right? And then I of that is again a to the n, a n, right? So if I want to if I want to show you that this is a by interpretation, I need to give you an isomorphism from Q to uh, a n, and and I have an isomorphism. But but the important bit is is I, the only reason I have an isomorphism is that I have a, a basis in my constants. If I didn't have a basis, I wouldn't have this isomorphism. Okay, yeah. So 
before we went and made these constants, we had somehow a series of distinctions in these t tilde structures coming from different differential equations as to some of them had these extra functions, some of them didn't have these extra functions. Right. But of course, the moment you name the constants, you just have the full algebraic geometry structure in the vector space, and this distinction somehow evaporates. Well, it doesn't evaporate because it's it's the distinction. I mean, it's it's the distinction between defining sets with parameters and without parameters. Okay, sure. Yeah, but after yeah, so so exactly. So after naming some parameters, the the distinction disappears, and that that's the point. In that sense, it's very close to what you have is very close to algebraic geometry. It differs uh, by, by picking a uh, basis. Okay, and so now this is the general definition, um, is that an internal cover of a totally arbitrary theory T is an interpretation T some T tilde, uh, which uh, becomes a by interpretation after adding constants. the structure K for T tilde, uh, and after you pull, uh, I mean, you look at its restriction uh, to T, and after you add these constants on both sides, you get a by interpretation. The T tutor here is what? In the example? No, in or the definition. It's part of the, it's part of the structure. So, so, an interpret so, so an internal cover is something about two theories, which are related in this way. Yeah. You have one theory T, another theory T. Even just for some T tutor. Yes. Yeah. So, this so it's part of, the, part of the internal cover. So it's an internal cover of T by T tilde. That's yeah. right. That's what it is, right? Mm. OK. I mean, yes. Yes. I mean, yes. I mean, the T tutor in the definition, T. nothing to do with the particular construction of Q and C. Of course, as an example, I suppose. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So what I just explained is that this is an example. Yeah, and now I can also uh, say what the Picard-Visio structure is, and, and so any structure, the so structure uh, K for which this holds, I just call it a Picard-Visio structure. structure than any yeah. extension of yeah. image. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's really yeah. a different notion. So minimality. Minimality is good in the Minimality of the no. of the no. set of parameters. No, there's no minimality. Anything bigger works. Right. right. So 
Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, you, yeah. I mean, you want you want you want your extensions to somehow preserve something because otherwise you could. I mean, so you want you want that. Uh, okay, extensions of structures in the sense of. I mean, yes. I mean you, you can always add more parameters. It doesn't change anything. Does it? Does, well, it, change, does it change the price? Except, of the except in, in principle, you could imagine adding. You know, you could imagine that that you add stuff to the field, and then and then ah. suddenly linearly independent it's vectors correct. become dependent. But this this you don't allow because you, you so so you just consider ex extensions which which preserve the the, the internality the, the data that uh, sh that shows the internality. Mm -hmm. So maybe you are only allowed to add constants in the differential algebra sense. Wait. No, it just means that uh, okay. Uh, it, it just means that I'm, I'm sweeping some things under the rug. So namely, I, I'm. I'm <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, so so I, I consider so when I when I look in the example, when I look at uh, Yeah. When, when I when I look when I look at uh, at the structure QC, one of the things I want to have in the language just as a function is is linear dependence. So um, if if Q1 and Q2 are linearly independent, I want to I want to be able to to say this. Or okay. So I mean, in this general setting, you don't have a Q and C. Right, so so in, in this general setting, I, I need to be for for for, for the comment that, that Alice made. I, I need to 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 be careful about what kind of extensions you you take. So, That's right. not, so maybe I mean it has to preserve want, the, the. Maybe you want T to have some level of quantifier elimination. Yeah, so for there's example, there's relations yeah. you care about that quantifier free element is exactly. preserved. Yeah, and somehow in the differential case, ACF no is problem. doing it for you. You perform the point for elimination in ACF. Yeah, I mean the only the only slightly annoying thing is that you, you know you have this QC the, the QC structure. Uh -huh. uh, initially it's a it's it's a I think it's called a relation relational thing. Sure. I mean, so so the, this is bad because uh, oh. because it means you don't have enough functions. But I, I, I want to, so anything that that is that is definitely a function, I want it to be an actual function symbol rather than. That's right. I, um, you you had this interpretation earlier of uh, T and T tilde as certain kinds of Tanakian categories. Yes, I'm wondering so that, if that, it's oh, that, sorry. that's what I wanted to say. All right. So if you want the dictionary, uh, so what do we have? We have T corresponds to. Uh, vec C, okay. and then TK corresponds to vec K. Um, what else should I say? Uh, I guess I want to say um, that I have a, a so this this W that I defined yeah. corresponds to a fiber factor, right? So this is this is so I say that interpretations correspond to to tensor factors, uh, and this is so this is this corresponds to a tensor factor. Uh, yeah. So sorry. So field was the Tanakian. Category, and so this W corresponds to some uh, tensor functor from the Tanakian category to uh, to this, right? <coughs> uh, to this. <coughs> okay, so this is a fiber fiber functor over K. So in the so the fact that it the fact that it exists for the in the example of the differential equation 
corresponds to the, in in Delin's uh, treatment of Picard's theory to to the fact that you have the forgetful functor, okay. Um, so th this is what it what it translates to, and what now what is our goal? Uh, but this is then this is somehow the next thing I want to say is uh, just like in just like in Delin's uh, uh, approach, we want to classify. Uh, well, uh, the link classifies uh, fiber functors to um, vec something, essentially. Um, and, and that's what we want to do. Uh, so vec something means we, means we look at uh, interpretations of uh, T tilde in uh, T, but with arbitrary parameters. OK? So we consider. Uh, okay, now why why we want to do it in our setting? Um, so suppose we have some W zero from T field to T um, L. So L means uh, I just add some parameters. Okay. Uh, So uh, we obtain the uh, tilt structure, which is the one I talked about. W zero upper star L. So this is some structure for T tilt. Now, this t this structure may or may not be a Picard-Vecio structure. Okay, so uh, we call W0 a Picard Vecio interpretation if um, this is a Picard Vecio structure. No, so, so L is fixed once we, you see that the interpretation is something that comes with L already. Mm -hmm. So this particular interpretation, I call it Picard Vecio, if, if the pullback of this particular L is, is, is uh, Picard Vecio structure. Okay. So, so that omega naught is, uh, is an L point of the uh, torsor under the groupoid in the linear language? Is this torsor whose points are the PB extensions? Or? No, it's going to be the it's going to be just just an object. So yeah, so that, that that's what I want to. Uh, that that's what I want to explain next. So, but, but this this corresponds to just right. This is just uh, yeah. So if you compare it to, I guess if you compare it to a to the Tanakan formalism, all, all the. Uh, all, all the all the interpretations are, are Picard's interpretations, but but that's because of that, that's be, that's basically because I, I, I had a last question about the dictionary having oh, to do sorry. with uh, sorry what what would I be in under the that I can interpretation if that makes sense? Oh, I I is the so right so if you have a. if 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 you have a Tanakian formalism Tanakian category C, uh, then you always have. Um, so C is over, let's see, um, L, then you always have um, a, a tensor functor, a unique tensor functor from vec L to C. It's just I'll, I'll be in the anamorphisms of the unit object in the... It just sends, so here there's one, 
So this, this is this is a category that is generated by, okay, by one. It says one to one. Oh, and that's what I use. Yes, that's that's I mean. Is that the descent? Sorry. Is that the descent? I mean, what's coming? Well, the descent is what's uh, uh, so, right. So what what are we interested in? <laughs> and we're interested in a privacy interpretation uh, W0 from T field just into two. Okay? Which is ACFCK in your case. So this would correspond to a to a, to a neutral structure, to, to a fiber functor over CK. Okay, so now what is the what is the analog of, of the Lin's theorem? Uh, or rather, I guess, I don't know, approximate analog uh, of the Lin's theorem is that um, so this is this is a, uh, uh, this is due to to Udi. Yeah, so by the way, every, everything I say is, uh, is true approximately. <laughs> I mean, there, there are various assumptions that I'm just keeping. Uh, so internal covers of T uh, correspond to definable groupoids. In T. What's a definable Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, well, what is a groupoid? Right. A groupoid. How about more specifically a definable groupoid in ACF? Okay. Okay. Well, well, okay. One, one moment. Uh, what, what is a groupoid? First of all, a groupoid is a category where all morphisms are, are isomorphisms. Sir? That definition doesn't help. No. Okay. So more. So so if you if you want to think about it more. Yeah. Um, concretely or something. Well. Okay. More con more concretely, it means that we have um, some set O, which we call the objects. Okay. Uh, and we have a a set. I guess. Uh, so yeah. A, which we call the, the morphisms. Um, so these are sets. Um, and each morphism has a has a source and a target. So we have a map from H to O cross O. Okay. And uh, and we have a an identity, well, what does it mean? Uh, an identity it means that, um, that, that if, if we have an object, we, we, have, a, we have a particular um, morphism that sits over uh, the pair that is that object with, with itself. So um, we have a map from O to H, uh, which factors <coughs> Okay, so which is uh, is your theory straight that to the diagonal? Is it a section? Yeah, exactly. So, so which is a, which is a section of, of this uh, restricted to the to the diagonal. So let's say this is a uh, domain for domain section of. Uh, of D 
this year's structure to the diagonal, and, and then we have composition, okay, yeah. which is a yes. certain map from H cross H to H, uh, which is only defined uh, okay. uh, in the in HCF in this situation with T, twi t twiddles and T, what would would be the definable group? Order? Yeah. So so uh, okay. okay. So, so like pro algebraic groups, or would they correspond to a Hopf algebra? Or? Well, one moment. So so. So yeah. this is just a groupoid. Okay, now if I want to say definable groupoid, I just say everything here is definable. Yeah. Okay. This is definable yes. sets and everything here is definable. Yeah. So for I, example, if you, if your background theory was field, you could take O to be the set of n tuples from the field yeah. and treat them as bases for vector subspaces of An and then for each pair of tuples, your morphisms would be the n by n matrices that take exactly. this tuple to that tuple. So, for example, if they were if they were actually bases of the pool n space, then you'd only have one morphism between them. Uh, yeah, you can do yeah. And if they weren't, then you'd have yeah. maybe multiple. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. yeah. So something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm but, just wondering, but I'm used to seeing pro algebraic groups coming up. And yeah, so, so I mean, first of all, the, the, the pro business is, is part of what I'm swapping. So, so let's forget about pro, just algebraic groups. But it's so an algebraic group is an example of this oh. when, uh, when O is just consists of one uh, right. point. Right. And, Suppose that it doesn't. And it, if it doesn't, then in general, O is, uh, for example, some variety. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, and then over each point of O, you have a group. You, are, you have an algebraic group, which is the I group see. of automorphisms yes. of that point. Okay. But you also have more structure, because you, have, you also have isomorphisms between, uh, between different points. Right, right. Okay? right. And so, so you, have, you have this kind of structure. Mm -hmm. but, but, sorry? It's a family? Or? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's like a family of groups, but it's, I mean, it, in particular, it gives you a family of groups, but it's more structure than just that. Right. But what is it? If you, if you pick a point in O cross O, then like the, 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 the group corresponding to the first point is acting on, on the left, and the group corresponding exactly. to the second yes. point. Yes, right, right. So, uh, so that's a good point. So if I, so if I have A and B in O, so O of uh, something, O of A, uh, then we can look at the fiber. Okay, so then H. Uh, a B is a left H A A torsor and the right H B B torsor. Or maybe the other way around. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry? It's like the Malvangi setup, group point setup. I know he has some kind of setup. I, don't yeah. I think for him it's an analytic group point or something. Yeah, except he didn't. Do one on a differential algebraic group, so it's algebraic mm -hmm. structure too. He's, he's doing this for different algebraic groups, where, where H is like a differential algebraic group. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some questions. So this corresponds to the definition of the group. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Doet u het heel? 